What's up guys? Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we're going to be learning about the B natural minor scale. Now in order to build a natural minor scale for any key, there are two methods that we can use. The first method has to do with making use of our knowledge of the relationship between major scales and natural minor scales. The second method has to do with using the formula. In this video, we're going to be using both methods. So yeah, let's start. So using the first method, first of all, what we have to do is to figure out the major scale that is related to the B natural minor scale. Now in order to do that, what we're going to do is that we're going to count up by three R steps from the key of B. So from the key of B, we're going to count up by three half steps. So one, two, three. See that? So we landed on the key of D. Therefore, this means that the D major scale is related to the B natural minor scale. Now, what does that mean? Well, this means that the set of unique keys that are in the D major scale are the same set of unique keys that are in the B natural minor scale. So in order to figure out the B natural minor scale, all we have to do is to play the D major scale starting from the key of B and finishing at the key of B. So yeah, let's do that. So from the key of B, see that? So that is the B natural minor scale. I'll do that again. See that? So again, that is the B natural minor scale. So that is the first method that we can use to figure out the B natural minor scale. Now, the other method that can be used to figure out the B natural minor scale is by using the formula. So yeah, let's do that. Now, first of all, just to remind you, whenever you move from one key, to the next key without skipping any key that is known as moving by a half step so for example if i move from the key of b to the key of c i've not skipped any key i've moved from one key to the next key without skipping any key therefore that means that i've moved by a half step see that so that's what it means to move by a half step now, whenever you move from one key to another key and you skip a key in between, then that means that you've moved by a whole step. So for example, if I move from the key of B to the key of C sharp, I've skipped the key of C in between. Therefore, this means that I've moved by a whole step. So that's what it means to move by a whole step. I'm just defining these terms because we're going to be using these terms while constructing the B natural minor scale through the use of the formula. So yeah, let's construct the B natural minor scale through the use of the formula. So starting from the key of B, the formula goes like this. So, so starting from the key of B, we're going to take a whole step and then a half step and then a whole step, and then a whole step, and then a half step, and then a whole step, and then a whole step. See that? We got the same answer as we did using the first method. So that is the B natural minor scale. Let's do that again. So from the key of B, so we take a whole step, 
and then a half step and then a whole step and then a whole step and then a half step and then a whole step and then a whole step so yeah that is the B natural minor scale so yeah that's it guys thank you for watching and I will see you in the next lesson